Hey everyone, Jeff here from Films at Home and you're probably asking, what's up with the glasses? Well, these are the new X-Real Air AR glasses and I wanna tell you guys about how these can impact your home entertainment viewing experience because I've had an incredible time with them. So these X-Real glasses are AR glasses. If you don't know what AR is, it's augmented reality. It's very similar to virtual reality, but it's sort of within your own space. Virtual reality headsets like an Oculus, you have to put on, completely cover your head, you're in that world. With AR glasses, Glasses, the screen is actually kind of floating in front of you and you can do a lot of different things. So I was sent these by Xreal specifically to check out how it would look watching movies. That's obviously my big thing. Movies, entertainment, home theater, right? I like to watch movies at home. And so these glasses, I got to test with a few different things. I tested them with a PS5, actually playing video games. I tested them uh, streaming movies. So a pretty incredible piece of technology that I'm gonna break down for you here. So first, before we dive into the use cases, let's talk about what these glasses can do and what they're all about. They are pretty standard, like sunglasses size. I'll be honest, very comfortable. They have nice nose pads. They sit right on your ears and they're not very heavy. They weigh like 70 grams. I mean, it's really not much weight and they don't feel much heavier than like a quality pair of sunglasses. Now, if we take them off and look at them, you can see they've got sort of a, a thicker frame on them and then they have these two sets of glasses. So that's how the AR technology works. You have like a standard sunglass frame, a glasses frame, and then you have this secondary frame in here, which gives you that AR technology. On the underside, they also have speakers on each ear. So you get sound right into your ears. And I'll tell you what, it's not half bad. I would still recommend using headphones. And then you'll see on the edge, of the glasses here, you got a little charging port. That's also your USB-C. That's how you're gonna connect to some of the streaming devices that you can use with these glasses. And then the other thing that X-Real sent was their X-Real Beam. So this is basically your little streaming device. And you can see on this, there's two USB-C ports. With their adapter, you can actually hook one USB-C up to the glasses. That powers the glasses, which have no internal power. They're powered by external devices like this. And the other USB-C can connect to your personal computer or Mac. It can connect to an HDMI adapter, which is how I plugged it right into my PS5. Literally was playing PS5 just through the glasses. Don't need a screen whatsoever. You can hook it up to your Nintendo Switch, portable players like that. It's a really cool little device that allows you to do a lot more than just like the air casting, which you can do with an iPad phone or an Android phone. So if you do want to take that next step right now, it's all wired. So it is, I'll say a little bit clunky. I think that there is a future technology state where these don't need as many wires. And that's going to be a really, really cool day when you can just connect to like your Xbox and just stream right to the glasses. For now, you need the X-Real beam, you need the wires, but you know what? It wasn't too bad. I sat here and played PlayStation for a couple of hours and it was actually a really cool immersive experience. So when it comes to watching movies, one of the coolest use cases that I had for these glasses is travel. So if you're on an airplane, right, you've got the tiny little screen in front of you. It's maybe got some cable TV. It's got a few movies. You know, if you bring your iPhone, you could be sitting here and, you know, watching in front of you on a five inch screen. But if you bring these glasses on a plane, you know, yeah, you might get a few looks, but you pop these things on and all of a sudden you're on a plane streaming from your phone and you You've got uninterrupted, you know, 130 inch screen. Other cool thing is if you put the blinders on, now you can't see anything. Now they become like more of a VR than an AR and it blocks out all the external light. So if you pop these in with the blinders, you put a couple of noise canceling headphones on, even AirPods, and you're sitting on a plane for six hours, that's a really great way to just experience silence and almost like your own little personal movie theater. So I actually fully plan on bringing these with me on a trip that I'm going out to uh, LA and you know, six hour flight from Boston. I can pop on like three movies in that time period, stream them right from my phone and have a much better experience than what they'd give you on the plane itself with the in-flight entertainment. So that's a really cool device for that. And again, you could like bring a Nintendo Switch or some other portable gaming device and hook it up the same way and have this really nice, quiet, immersive experience on longer travel flights. The other really cool use case is if you wanna watch something different from your kids or your partner. Um, you know, if I'm sitting on the couch and my kids are watching who knows what on uh, a toy story for the 800th time. And I'm like, okay, I need to keep an eye on them, but boy, 
I'm not interested in Toy Story, or you're sitting on the couch with your wife and you know she wants to watch her show, you wanna watch your show. She can watch it on the TV, the kids can watch it on the TV, you pop on your glasses, connect to your phone, and boom, you've got a 130 inch screen right in front of you just with a pair of glasses. So that part was really cool because it almost gives you another monitor, another TV, another entertainment option in your house and it's completely portable like you could literally watch them in bed if you wanted to watch a movie put your headphones on you know your wife could be asleep and you know wants to go to bed early you can go up in bed next door and watch a movie without needing to turn on the tv the tv's on it's bright it's keeping her up you obviously got the sound going put on your noise canceling headphones put on your ar glasses you're good to go and I will say I had no issues playing any DRM content. If you don't know what DRM is, it's basically like a copyright rights management tool for digital content. And a lot of times if you go to cast something from your iPhone, it could stop you from casting to certain devices because of DRM. But these are DRM compliant. These go right through. I stream from Amazon Prime, from Netflix, from Disney Plus, from Shutter. It all goes right through. I mean, it connects to these devices as if it's just any other display, as if you were watching on a monitor or on a TV. The software really doesn't know the difference and I had no issue playing all of that content, which was really nice. I also started using these a little bit for work, which was surprisingly effective. Now, I already have two monitors set up at my desk, but these essentially give you a third virtual monitor. And if you connect it right into your PC, you can do like a side view where you have one monitor off to the side and then your two in front of you. You can still see these very clearly while you're working, but you've got that third monitor through your glasses, which can allow you to really multitask and even on a smaller desk, if you only have one monitor or maybe just a small laptop, this could give you a much wider workspace, a virtual monitor of 130 inches, which you can do a lot with. I was also fairly impressed with the video quality of these glasses. Now they kind of tout that they have an OLED esque type screen, you know, that's really hard to say. If I watched a movie on my OLED TV, that's gonna look better than these glasses, but these glasses do look pretty good and they get up to 400 nits brightness. So in a very bright room, if you weren't using the blinders, that's gonna be a little bit tough to see on a bright wall. But if you put the blinders on, 400 nits is more than enough. It's not gonna necessarily get you like high-end HDR content. But again, when are you using this? You're using this in situations like travel or or watching a movie while someone else is asleep or you know watching on a second screen working on your monitor playing video games you know if you want to watch a movie in the highest quality like no I wouldn't watch it on these glasses but they definitely have a use and I think that they're a really cool piece of technology that I much prefer to any of the VR headsets that I've tried. Now, I don't own any, but I've tried PlayStation VR. I've tried Oculus. I've tried these things and I don't really love them. These AR glasses, I think this is truly the future of that kind of visual screen versus VR, which really just sucks you out of reality. At least you can use these and still be in person, be aware of your surroundings, which is really nice. So, you know, are these glasses gonna be for everybody? No, I would say, you know, this is a very specific group of people, you know, tech enthusiasts who, who might want to try something like this, but I'm glad I got to try them because, you know, I think if they get better with the wireless technology, which they're working on, and you're not so tethered to the X real beam device, which you really do need to watch any sort of like 4k Blu-ray content to play video games, to play PlayStation, like you need this device and you're hooked up and wired. So it's a little bit limiting, but if they can improve on the wireless technology, these glasses, I think, have a real use case in the future for lots of people, whether it be added productivity at your office, at your desk, whether it be you just wanting to watch movies, whether it be, you know, designing things in real time in front of you. If you're like an engineer, I can see these being used for a lot of different ways. And the technology just has a little bit further to come, but these are by far, the X-Real Airs are by far the best AR or VR experience that I've had. And yeah, it's been a little bit limited. I've tried a few things. I've done some AR stuff in the past and hated all of it. These are pretty decent. I have to give them a shout out. They've made a good product. It's about 379 for the glasses. So that's not even bad price-wise. It's very competitive with VR headsets. You can get the X-Real Beam for a little bit more if you wanna go that route. So I was really happy I got to check these out. It was a super cool experience to literally be sitting in my bedroom, middle of the night, you know, whatever. My wife wanted to go to bed early and I could watch a movie 
and not disturb her. Like I'm very excited to take these on the plane with me and have them for a six hour flight. It's going to be a, a next level of entertainment. And honestly, I mean, you, you guys tell me, but putting them on, like it doesn't look super stupid. I mean, it, it's not like some of these headsets that are like, like the new Apple one that look like you're a spaceman. Like they're not, terrible they kind of just look like sunglasses to be honest so you know that that part of it too the more like minimally invasive that this technology can be on your person i think is a great thing but you know getting a 130 inch screen through some ar glasses right in front of you with pretty damn good picture quality and you know pairing it with a nice pair of headphones pretty good sound quality as well even using the internal speakers wasn't bad whether you're gaming or watching a movie or just working these have a, a these could be a seriously powerful tool for the right person out there who's ready to try this tech. So thanks for watching. If you want to check these out, the links are in the description. Make sure you support Xreal and thank you to them for supporting my channel and giving me an opportunity to check these out. I've been wanting to check out AR glasses or VR headsets, especially for watching movies. And this was I think one of the best products out there for that. Movies, gaming, entertainment these are going to be a way better experience than VR. So thank you to Xreal for sending. Support them. Check out their links if you want to buy from them. I don't get any kickback from that. Just supporting their product. If you want to follow me on social media, all those links are down in the description as well as links to my partners, discount codes, and people who support the channel. You can also scan the QR code right here if you're watching on a TV. Take out your phone camera, scan that. It'll bring you to right to all those links as well. But thank you all for watching. I know this is a bit of a different video, so thank you for your support on it. I'd love to do more like this. So thank you. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy out there, and I'll talk to you all soon.